it's your favorite youtube dealer i appreciate you guys for stopping in the Fuhrer is back it's about to get really real i also want to see what happened with hohenheim and father because they're in the middle of a conversation that i think is going to become very very important for what's going to happen going forward in this show we're on full metal alchemist brotherhood episode 56 it's crazy it's a lot of craziness happening shout out to my girl azumi she kind of took my heart from Olivier. Listen, Olivia, I still love you, but Azumi might be it. She might be it. Let's dive in. Let's see how this episode plays out. Just calm down. We need to have a civil conversation about this. We're all in this together. Ugh. Just drink it nice and slow. Only take little sips. So they did say that a blind man brought alchemy to Jing. We already kind of know that by now, but this, I guess, is kind of giving you an idea of how that actually happened i know you are i'm sorry i'm sorry i couldn't stop him he's having like inner dialogue as if there's like two people inside of him i'm so sorry surgeons i don't even have a prediction for i was i was like all right let me try to predict what this might be i don't know Unless somehow he's having some kind of a conversation with one of the souls that were used to give him the powers. There was Surgeons, the renowned master carpenter. He was often called to the palace for repairs. Do you remember him? And then there's the florist, Kaya. I've rarely met such a compassionate woman. Tommy's boyhood dream was to become a respected scholar. So it does sound like he was having conversations with the souls within him. I didn't even know that there was a possibility. And my fellow slave, Andal, he bitterly considered me his rival because I was favored by our master. Every single one of these tortured souls has now invaded your being. You're contaminated, and each soul inside you is working with me, working to see your destruction. Your flask is broken, dwarf. We will destroy you. Okay, I never saw this coming. This I would have never saw coming. I thought this was going to be a long, drawn-out thing. But this is okay. Okay, I'm ready. I'm here. <laughs> How is it possible you can live without your skin? Did you honestly believe you're the only one capable of evolving? Infantrymen, keep back! Being that he's Wrath, you'd think that he probably would be and is the most suited for this kind of stuff, for war, for fighting, for... Oh boy. Humans always make a point out of being foolishly stubborn. Ah, you got that right. But pathetic as it may be, and they sure are. I still prefer to side with the underdog. I'll be honest with you. So much has happened at this point that I completely forgot about greed slash Ling. I left my mind. Didn't even consider him being a thing anymore. We should have known that publicly siding with Fuhrer Bradley could backfire on us. It looks like they've got us completely surrounded too. Right now, the whole city thinks we're on the Fuhrer's side. But it won't take too long for Bradley to call our bluff. When that happens, they'll probably kill us right away. Long time no see, Greed. Rumor has it that you died a fiery death in a train accident. You look unscathed to me. It only took a moment for me to evaluate a path among the falling rubble. The rest of it was just a matter of footwork. <laughs> <laughs> Open fire! I was gonna say if, he, if, if, if he's getting the upper hand, shoot this man. You all standing there with guns. No! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Captain! Now what are you gonna do without your fancy sword play? Not exactly my weapon of choice, but I guess that I'll just have to make do. The base has been overrun by some kind of monsters. Did you say monsters? 
What are you talking about? I'll be honest, this is interesting. It is. But I just want to see more Father and Hohenheim. I just want to see that play out. What the hell's going on? Wait, I think I see something. Sling's people. Why can't I think of any fine, fine line? Wait, it's not fine line. That's not what it is. Why can't I think of Lan Fine? Lan Fine. I don't know why I said her name backwards. Nice moves, old man. And thanks for the help. Really saved my ass. Why don't you tell me who this is we're fighting? Especially since neither of us could leave a scratch on him. That's Fuhrer King Bradley, old man. <gasps> So now I know what the bastard who took my granddaughter's arm looks like. He's calm too. He's just, they just always be chilling. No problems here. We good. Okay. This is going to be interesting to see how that plays out, but I'm, I'm most interested in the Hohenheim and father fight. And father has shed his skin. He not only did he shed the skin, he ate the skin. He went steps further. And now he's just like this black being. But he said he wants to become the perfect being. So again, I think that that alludes to him trying to get to truth because he feels like that's the way to become the perfect being. I don't know if it's a battle with truth, if he thinks he could devour truth. If I, I don't necessarily know, but I feel like that, ha that has to be. It has to be it. Because in the beginning, when, when we first met truth with Ed and Al, truth told Ed that he was everything and nothing. He's everyone, but nobody. He's like... He's all God. Like he's, he's, he's whatever it is that you want him to like. That's him. That's him. And that's the way to become the perfect being, I would assume. It's a long day, right? Because this is this is this is the this is the day, the reckoning day, the promise day. This day has lasted for like six episodes. It's a long day. I'm curious if this literally lasts up until the very end of the show. I just hope that we get closure because every once in a while shows are moving. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they leave you a little bit of cliffhanger, even though there's not going to be an answer to it. They almost leave you guessing like, well, it's up to you to decide. How do you think that it turned out? I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like, I'm hoping that that's not the case. I'm hoping that that's not the case. This was really, really fun. This was a fun episode. I feel like I stumbled over some of my thoughts throughout it and everything like that. But I, 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 I hope, hopefully I elaborated well enough when I go through and I do the edits, I'll be able to tell for sure. But Hopefully I elaborated on my thoughts enough and, and, you know, but it's interesting because Hohenheim learned all, he said 536 or something, thousand people. That's how many souls that he has inside of him to make him who he is and make him invulnerable and all that stuff. And he said that he took time to speak to each and every one of them and learned all of their names. And that actually gave him. I, don't, I wouldn't say that it gave him more powers, but it gave him a, an understanding and a connection with his power and a connection with his, his philosopher's stone that's inside of him that father just doesn't have. And at first, it seemed like it was going to matter, like it was going to actually do something. Now, the question I guess I have is, just because he shed the skin, like why would that mean that those souls are not still in him? Because he took some of it from Hohenheim. I feel like whether or not he sheds the skin, they're still within him, right? Because he still has the, his own philosopher stones. I, I don't know why that suddenly makes it so they're not like attacking him anymore. But oh, pride and pride, pride is going to come at some point, right? Pride has to come back at some point. I doubt that this is the last we've seen of pride because they're still alive and they took Kimberly and and just devoured that little bitch. So we have got a lot of stuff going on. I'm just, I'm just trying to recap it all in my head, but there's a lot of stuff happening. I appreciate you guys. As always, only one way to find out. I'll catch you in the next episode, homies. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. Smoking so much, it's like all I show. I don't think they understand. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. I just be rolling, that's all I know. I don't think they understand. I just be rocking the boat. Got me a bop in a hole. I'm locked in the coast. I got me a shot in my nose. So everything I drop is cold. I be like, who want to blow on an L? We hit the hotel. A couple of bitches, a little Ciroc. Got one of my niggas. We feeling the vibe. This comfortable pimp, bro.